Hey guys, Michael here with Gerard, and it is our first session inside the boardroom. Exactly, and it's very exciting for us because we would like to share um, information and experiences from our clients so you don't make the same mistakes. And when you say our clients, we got up this morning and uh, I rang Gerard and said, what are we going to talk about? And then the phone rang with a client <laughs> who had an issue. And we went... And we have a topic. Yes. And we went, yeah. oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it amazing? What the topic is, is they rang up. So they've set their business up and they've got certain models that they classify as their IP and work products and so forth. And somebody had left the business and basically copied them and started their own little business yeah. doing the same thing. There was a lot of emotion, a lot of frustration around this. So there was one, what can I do about it? How should I feel about it? And you know, how do I stop it happening all over again? Yeah. I think when you start your business, there's so many things happening that you don't always mm. think about these things. And this yes. is one of the most important policies that you need to have in your business, is to have that policy and procedure where you set it out, what they can and can't do, mm. where you give it to them, where they read it, you discuss it with them, and then yep. they sign it. Yeah, so I think if you're in the situation, so there's two, we'll deal with her situation first. So someone is exiting the business. Now, there's a couple of things we do here. The first thing is when someone's exiting, you must give them an exiting letter. That's, uh, I don't know what the official, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know what the official term is, but mine is, thank you for your service. You've been absolutely wonderful. Thank you for participating in uh, the development of this business. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, just to save any grievances is everything developed here is work product and is the property of this company. All our IP, all our systems, all our procedures, our ideas are work product here. So we wish you all the best in your future career. Just remember you can't use the knowledge and the IP and the copyrighted material and the systems and processes that have been developed here at your new workplace. Um, and all the best. Yep. <laughs> Because you just yes. remind them again, because mm. if somebody worked for your company for four, five, six years, they forgot about what they signed six, seven years ago. So it's important mm. just to remind people again. And I think a lot of people that leave and maybe get their own business or go work there, they not got malice in them. You know, no. I think we, and this is one thing we said to the lady this morning, look, you've just got to get, it's not malice. They just don't think of these. To them, it's just, well, this is just what I do. They forget that what they do and the way it's been done is training. The systems you use, the PDFs you use, the email lettering you use, the wording you use, that the way courses are, or whatever have been constructed, it's all your IP. They can't just go, oh, well, I'll do the same course over here and copy it verbatim. That's just not yeah. permissible. It's what's called work product. And we like to set up almost what we call advisory boards, don't we? Where they can participate. This is, I think, the most important thing in your business is to have that advisory board to help you move forward. Mm. But again, you need to write it down, what is expected from them. Yes, and when they participate in the advisory board, the things that are developed there, yep. we get them to sign it off yep. and it becomes work, it becomes a property of your business, yes. doesn't it? Yes, I think what we've, we've seen in the, in the last what, three, four, five years, mm. um, you don't know what you don't know. True. And with this boardroom, we want to help you to share this information that you know and don't have an excuse when something mm. bad happens. And it was interesting, we're, we're talking about the exiting letter and Gerard said, well, maybe they should have an entering letter as well that described, welcome to the company. This is our policy and procedure. Remember that everything that is developed here is confidential. It is IP. You have, there are no rights. You have not got permission to share it and, and spread a word or use it yourself without express permission of, of the yeah. owners. I actually, um, there's a program out there that every year, Hmm. It sends out the policies and procedures. So every year, everybody signs all the policies and procedures. Wow. Um, and if you don't sign it, the computer will say, this person didn't sign it yet. Yeah. Um, and then you can go and say, please sign this document again. So that's another way to put a system into, in place yeah. where every year people sign all the policies and procedures that they know exactly what's expected from them. Hey, we'll put that in the community forum yes. and give some people some pointers and some ideas. We'll, we'll put a few pointers in the community forum. And look, if you've seen these letters or you've done letters yourselves or you have a certain way of doing your policies and procedures let's share with each other yep. because that is what the millionaire boardroom is all about it's about being able to create the wealth together but also keep it keep it mm. 
uh, I think the whole idea is, is that we don't want you to lose money. No. <laughs> we don't want you to something happens and then you have to spend um, lawyers' fees. Mm. Um, and it's not only about the lawyers' fees, but it's emotional damage, oh. financial damage, yes. social damage. Just, just prevent it. Yeah, absolutely. There is our very first topic. Just remembering that when someone works for you, it is work product. So if you've got employees now or you're about to take them on, see if you can get an entry letter to welcome them to the company and explain that policy and procedure. Policy and procedure, make sure they're documented and signed. Yes, and discussed. Very and important. Discussed. Yes, absolute discussion. Think about a little advisory board. So you have team meetings, just call them advisory board meetings where they all put their bits of thoughts, but make sure you record. You would like to have everything recorded it's and signed always as well. Recorded. Yeah. Yep. And then that also becomes then work products and, is, and obviously work, uh, policies and procedures. And then if they're leaving, the, uh, the exit, exit letter. letter. Yeah, the exit letter as well. Hey, we'd like to see your thoughts and comments and ideas. And if you had any letters or ideas of your policies and procedures or maybe sharing an experience you've had that would be good yes because i've had a few we all have <laughs> <laughs> but i always caveat it with this you know most of my experience is not because the person was a bad person it's just they just didn't know it, it was a, it, they didn't realize it was just well i just thought it was all you know i'm just doing a business like you did a business well i didn't do it because i thought i would never use it mm. um I, I will not be caught out yes and and we got caught out so that thing of it will not happen to me yeah it happened to me <laughs> so that's it on the boardroom hope you've enjoyed our very first inaugural show make sure you start participating in the community because that's how we'll help everyone in here get that first million get that third fourth fifth tenth million dollars which is what we're all after and keep it as well thanks this was, this was a good session it was i hope another client rings up with a problem for for the, for the next, next session <laughs> <laughs> so you guys thanks for joining us in the one minute millionaire boardroom